Hello guys, today I am in the Airbus A320 cockpit and I will try to do one thing which I wouldn't like to find myself in real life. So I will climb on the runway heading, a normal climb, and uh, at one point my engines both will flame out and I will have to come back to the same airfield I took off from. Uh, this is for the purpose of finding out the height over the airfield from which we can safely come back. So, here we go. Parking brake off. We have takeoff memo, no blue. And thrust levers to 50. Stable and takeoff. Manual Toga SRS runway. Airspeed live, thrust set. One hundred knots. And V one rotate. Positive rate gear coming up. And the gear is up. I will also select autopilot number one so that we fly a good profile. So now we are at 1,400 feet, 1,500, and the engines will fail at 2,000 feet. I will select levers climb and dual flame out. Autopilot disconnect and turning towards the runway. Okay, so we do the ECAM checklist, engine mode selector to ignition, thrust levers idle. Should notify the ATC, okay, FAC1 off and on. This is a flight computer, and then we continue. Our speed at the moment is 160 knots, but the ideal speed would be approximately 205 knots if in clean configuration with no flaps or slats. That would be the speed with the maximum lift to drag ratio. And our approach speed will be 155 knots. We want to land with flaps 3. However, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Minimum rammer turbine speed is 140 knots. We can see the runway from this position. See if we can get to it. Okay, the runway is quite short, so I don't want to overshoot it very much, but we will see how it goes. We are currently approximately two miles from the threshold. Would be a, a nice time to extend the gear. Okay, I cannot get any more flaps because of my current speed. I have very, very low energy. And it's a crash. So, you have just witnessed that if the engines fail at 2,000 feet above the ground, it's very, very difficult to back, get back to the runway and actually I didn't succeed. So this time we will try to fail the engines at 2,500 feet and see how much further we can climb. Here we go. Parking brake off. Thrust levers to 50. Stable, timing, takeoff. Thrust is set, manual toga, SRS runway, airspeed alive. One hundred knots. B1, rotate. Positive climb, gear coming up.
and the gear is up with no lights. I'll turn the autopilot number one on and continue our climb. Okay, acceleration altitude, lever goes to climb. Now it would almost be the time for flap retraction, but both engines fail. Turn off the autopilot and turn right towards the runway. As per, as per the ECAM engine mode selector ignition, thrust levers idle, FAC1 off and on, this is the flight computer, and manual on for the ram air turbine. Okay, now we are maintaining a little bit less than 160 knots, I would like a little bit more, so I will increase my rate of descent. We look for the runway. Another warning for emergency electric configuration. We know about that. And the runway is inside. We should be able to make it now. The only thing is to plan where we will put the wheels on the ground. Okay, I might not be very high on this approach, so I will plan a flap 1 landing instead of 3, as I would like to. And the only thing to plan now is the gear extension. Our speed is reducing now. Okay, we can extend the gear, 150 knots. Let's see if we have normal manual extension. But just in case, I will use the manual. The emergency gear extension as well. Okay, we are a little bit too slow, but we are a little bit too high. Okay, and gear is down. Firm touchdown and we try to brake. Now we have limited braking only from the parking brake accumulator because we don't have the emergency hydraulic system running anymore as the ram air turbine is spinning far too slow. But now we are at 60 knots, 50 knots, 40 knots. All the power is gone, rudder control is gone as well. And we have safely stopped on the runway. So, as you can see, if you lose the engine at 2,500 feet above the runway, accounting no wind, we should be able to come back to the runway safely. No, I would wish that this never happens to you or your colleagues or your friends in real life. It's a dangerous situation, believe me. Good luck!